Right, good day to you. Yeah, our uh, sad day. Got to take uh, the Triumph Speed 400 back today. Yeah, so I'm on my way. Traffic's pretty heavy. Um, but what do I think of it? Well, I think it's absolutely marvellous, I've got to be honest. The way it handles is superb and we're down to 20. Uh, it's it's been it's taken some <laughs> it's taken some getting filmed I can tell you because I've had it on and off for a few weeks yeah had it for a few days torrential rain nearly every day I as you know from the past videos I managed to get a couple of dry days um, I forgot we're in the 20 aren't we um, and so uh, and then uh, I did so many miles I had to take it back for a service so I had to go back in and have its service um, and then wait for me to be able to get it back again I know uh, uh, the lengths we go to to uh, to test some bikes it's incredible but Oh, I've thoroughly enjoyed riding it and it's been a fantastic excuse to have it for longer and do more with it and I've done all sorts with it long distance, short distance uh, yeah and of course the two up with uh, Baby Tame the Younger yeah there is an older um, she's much more experienced on motorbikes yeah she went on them um, from being a toddler uh, but Baby Tame loved it on the back. From a riding point of view, to up, it made absolutely no difference to it. Uh, yeah, there's a bit more weight at the back, but both Mrs Tame and Baby Tame, in fact, none of the Tames are particularly heavy, apart from me. <laughs> um, and it was just wonderful. Uh, solo you can you can rag it a little bit and it goes really well uh, obviously i didn't do that until it had had its first service but it it handles to me better than the 400x the 400x is possibly better to up uh, but uh, for having a little bit more room i think obviously mrs tame had a little go on the back of this and I can tell you that this is a little bit smaller to up, but not an issue. You know, not as uh, not as cramped to say the SV. Yeah, so you get a, you get a, a picture. Um, uh, so now I'm gonna pop onto the A14, uh, not because I want to but because it is simply the quickest, at the moment anyway, it's the quickest uh, way for me to get this bike back. I will do a little bit on the A14 um, and uh, I'll bring you back the other side for the final thoughts, yeah. Right, uh, so round about here I pop back on the A14 uh, it's roadworks uh, right up to here so that everyone's just coming out of the roadworks and everyone at the moment uses all the villages and it's an absolute nightmare at uh, peak times yeah uh, so anyway let's get get on here so see what it's like getting up to speed there you go absolutely no trouble at all and a little bit more there we go now also 
because everyone's just come out of the roadworks, the rosas loiter up here to catch everyone speeding. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll bring you back when I get off the A14 and the A12. Yeah. So one thing someone did ask before I get off the A12 here is what about overtaking at motorway speeds if you need to? So I'm in sixth and uh, we're at the speed limit but I need to get past it urgently and that's as simple as that you know um, yeah it's got loads of go and in fact it really picks up round about seven to eight thousand revs at the moment we're doing 70 at just over six thousand revs yeah so there you go all right i'll bring you back when i get off here So, uh, just balancing it there, oh, I didn't have to put my foot down once, um, but I need to summarise this bike, I guess, before we get uh, back to Suffolk Triumph. Now, obviously, I just wanted to put that in because I, I suddenly remembered quite a few people have said, yeah, but on the motorway, what happens if you need to go a little bit more? you know to get out of trouble or something or get into trouble whichever way you want to look at it uh, and it has absolutely no worries at all um, but right like, let's start what we've got obviously we've got that 39.5 brake horsepower single cylinder liquid cooled engine um, which is just marvelous to me it this bike reminds me of the 250s and 400s that we used to have in the 70s and 80s yeah I, I mean it's terrific and it it can half go it behaves like a, almost like a two-stroke at times um, and it looks wonderful it looks small but when you ride it you don't notice that do you I don't notice how tiny Bertie is and I am massive <laughs> so yeah uh, we've got bar end mirrors absolutely work an absolute treat the clock a few people have complained about it this bike is built down to a price and I think for the what you pay for it under five thousand pounds it's pretty well uh, catered for yeah uh, the clock does everything you want speed the rev counter used to flash do you remember that stops after first service yeah obviously it's there for a warning about running it in and stuff like that the brakes even two up fantastic yeah but you wouldn't expect them not to be on any bike these days handling is just <laughs> it's just brilliant is all I can say even the suspension dealing with bumps on bends and stuff like that it doesn't get out of shape nothing the clutch and the gearbox no problems whatsoever in and out of gear uh, do you remember uh, the start that red light I had a theory about it um, it's gone anyway and it's never come back I think it's possibly it might have been something to do with having enough charge in the battery I don't know all the switch gear were exactly where you want there's not a lot of switch gear to be had the high beam thing probably needs a little bit trimming off there but oh we're into a 30 I'm getting carried away the seat perfectly comfy both for the rider and the pillion baby tame said she could feel her bones well she's a bony little thing and doesn't have a lot of padding uh, yeah uh, back brakes absolutely fine um, 
and it it just sips at the petrol absolutely sips at it you can see I've just done I don't know 45 miles something like that and it's barely moved on the on the dial uh, so yeah and um, excellent service intervals as well I don't know what it is is it 10,000 12,000 something like that uh, Oh, and I've not I've knocked the high beam on then. Yeah, after all that, that's the first time I've done it <laughs> for ages. Um, but I am back now, so I guess I've got to wrap it up there. The one thing that really bugs me, the distinct lack of a centre stand. So let me just stop here amongst all these wonderful bikes, and you'll notice there, there is a Daytona, yeah, marvellous. Let's get the side stand down, get it over, ignition off. There you go, Triumph Speed 400, here at Suffolk Triumph, absolutely wonderful.